Howdy, 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 everybody. I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and welcome to Mega Man Powered Up. <laughs> I'm actually going to do probably two or three runs of this with different characters, just to give you guys some different flavors and different choices if you only want to watch only one run. So, uh, let's start a new game. Uh, do new style. I'm just going to do normal difficulty all the way through. And we're going to go with Mega Man. Classic style. The year 2000X. With the advancement of science, humans were able to create industrial humanoid robots. Supposed to be rock, you asshole. Mankind got a grim reminder. Dr. Light got drunk and trashed the lab again. Okay. Okay, then. Why is your head so big? Of course! Yeah. <laughs> to begin, I'm going to... Hi! Well, there he goes. Let's go! Okay. So, yeah, we get an intro stage for the remake of the original Mega Man game. Yay! Where you play as Rock. Pretty Mega Man, of course. Uh, he can run, he can jump, he can't fire anything yet, which is okay. You don't need to. Even with spines on the ground, you don't need to. You can get through here in case you need it. There you go. Uh, but, yeah, something I noted in my Me Mighty Number no. 9 run is how the character models, you know, the mouths don't move or whatever when they're talking. And then somebody's going to see that and see Wily there and be like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Well, hold on. How did you fit them all in there? You're the foremost scientist in robotics, Dr. Light. How can you not prevent that? What? Well, why not? You know, saves time. That's all. That's always sudden. Eh, you'll be all right. This is coming from the guy who, according to the comics. You know, created the Sniper Joes to help with the military. Went against everything he was... Went against, ev against everything he stood for, but he needed the money. And here we go, Mega Man! Yay! Yay! We got power-ups, and here we go. Now the true intro stage can begin. Now, as I was saying, uh, Mighty Number no. 9, when I was going through it, I I made note of how the characters' lips didn't always move when they were talking. Hello, Mr. Beak. Yeah, I noticed, like, uh, Dr. Wily didn't quite do that here. And definitely Dr. Light right there didn't do it. I can forgive this a little bit more because it is on the PSP. You know, it's originally for the PSP, and while it is powerful, sometimes little things have got to be taken out. It, in, in other words, it's an inferior system compared to a PC. You know, because I think Mighty Number no. 9 is what, for the PC, 3DS, and I want to say uh, pretty much every home console possible. So, um, it's, it's on some pretty powerful hardware. So, it's a little less forgivable. Of course I followed you. Coward! Hi! Your big dildo? That's an, that's an angry dildo. And he's relatively... And he's pretty simple. 
I think it's telling that I think Ro Mithril was able to do this in one take. I think this was one of those he could do in one take. Oh, whoa, hi! And whoop, and oh, whoop. There you go. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, giant metal dildo. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I've played through this a couple of times, but that's okay. So it's a Trump rally. What, eight robots against a trillion people? We can take them! Come on! <laughs> no, okay, so that was only the intro stage, so I'm going to do one other stage as per uh, tradition. It didn't take, you know, we're only at six minutes, so I could probably blast in one of these rel relatively quickly. And who do we start with? How do we start? Where do we start? I'll tell you where we start. I say we start with... Cutman. Now, to be fair, I do take this like I do take all the other Mega Man games I've been doing lately. First first go around, Robot Masters will only get the Mega Buster. In this game, it's actually a good thing because once once you beat a Robot Master for the first time with only the Mega Buster, you will then be able to unlock that Robot Master as a playable character. Obviously, you won't see that kind of effect here because I've already done so, but um, and I really didn't feel like going through and erasing everything. Uh so, but yeah, that's one advantage to taking care of Robot Masters with only your Mega Buster. Can't be charged shots or anything. It's got to be regular Buster shots. And you got to be Mega Man. What is this? Oh, hey, construction pack behind some bombs. <laughs> uh, some bomb blocks. Obviously, the, one of the major additions is blocks that can only be destroyed by certain weapons. Um, bomb blocks, electric blocks, um, time blocks even. Which Mega Man can destroy some of them, but other ones take certain robot masters to be able to destroy. So. Uh... Hi! Ow. You look. Ow! You shit. Okay. Guts blocks, obviously. Where are we at? Oh, hey, fleas! Fleas, leave me alone! That was horrible. Ah, hi. Okay, I think the comic uh, originally said that fleas were meant for like helping with like farming or whatever. But what the hell are octopus batteries for? Why? Why do they exist? Do they have any function besides getting in everybody's way? You know, I mean, I mean, yeah, from a game design standpoint, that's what they're supposed to do. But in universe, what are they supposed to do? Oh, this one. If only I could slide. Oh, hi. Okay. But I do not have the sliding ability. You can unlock it by beating the game in uh, different difficulty modes as Mega Man. I think if you beat it on easy, you get the slide Mega Man. Hi. Ah. Come here. Okay, here we go. Up to doodle. Oh yeah, bomb blocks. You could use those. Go up there. Yay. Ow. Ooh. Shit face. And bladers. Yay. You know, I never understood before why they're called bladers, but eh. Oh yeah. And that's where you come off from an alternate path. Yes, we have alternate paths. Hi! Hi, you're a pain in the ass. By the way, those snow blocks. Only Fireman can melt those. And only when he has when he's at full power. What do I mean by that? I'll show you later. Hi, big eye! Who can only be shot out! Literally in the eye. Unlike his original iteration, which can be shot anywhere on his body as long as he's up in the air. Ah, uh, and no corridors. It's just, it's just boss battle. Here we go. 
It's Mr. Cutman! How you doing, buddy? And you're gullible. Isn't it obvious? Evil fighting robot! Mega Man! I think that's my line, Cutman. Ow. Oh yeah, he has no recoil, does he? Shit! <laughs> ah, whoa, that was close. Ha 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 Uh-oh. And they have super attacks! He can destroy the blocks with that super cutter. Holy shit. And that'll hurt. And yes, as long as he's flashing like that, he is invincible. Oh, shit. Wah! And on hard mode, he'll do it twice in a row. So, eh. And he's gone! If this was a fresh file, he would still be there, and I would I would take him back to Dr. Light's lab, but according to this file, I've already done it, so. And what do we get? Whaboom! The rolling cutter! Oh, yeah, son. <laughs> Hails yeah! Oh, excuse me. I plan to roll. I plan to. Uh, but for right now, this is where we're gonna end this video. <laughs> ah, yes. So, one down for Mega Man. We got a few more to go. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh. Uh, so with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, everybody. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. <laughs>